there, perfectionists. <laughs> I love puns. <laughs> Today, we have three dogs in the house because my mom is currently running a half marathon. So, their dog, Sahara, is staying with us. Hey, Sahara. Hey, Falcon. Are you guys getting along? It is a circus here. We've got Phoenix, Falcon, Sahara, and Tiny. All of them crawling all over the place, getting into everything, sometimes not getting along with each other. But we are surviving. There's definitely something in my eye. I get fur in my eye like 20, 20 fur seven. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. So this week I want to show you guys how I stay on top of all of the dog's vitamins slash medicines and all these things like that. Um, I've mentioned before that Phoenix is epileptic so she has to take a pill every morning and every evening. I'm going to show you guys how we give Phoenix her pill and also how we stay on top of their heartworm and their flea and tick medication. Mike and I have a lot of things going on in our lives between work and the two girls and the baby and just lots of crazy madness. It's actually insane how much we have to like stay organized in order for things to not fall apart. We wanted to make sure we didn't lose track of all the things that we had to do for the girls Phoenix and Falcon get their heartworm medication the first of every month. Also, Mike and I split a lot of the duties in the house, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, he takes the baby to daycare and I take care of the dogs in the morning, and then on Tuesday, Thursday, we switch, because I like dropping him off at daycare too sometimes, and he takes the dogs out in the morning. So, depending on who lands on whatever day, the first of the month, sometimes we don't know if the other person gave the dogs their medication, so I have devised a little way to track who has gotten their pills and what. Then the girls get their flea and tick meds, uh, which is something they take by mouth. We don't do the tick medication that it's like an oil that you put um, in their, on their necks and like down their backs and stuff like that because it kind of makes them oily and greasy and the baby has been grabbing them and touching them and petting them. We just don't want him to touch the flea and tick medication and then like touch his mouth. They take that flea and tick medication on the 15th of every month, so I just wanted to be able to keep track of everything and if they've already taken it or what. So that in the morning or in the afternoon, if Mike has already given them their medication, I'll know and I won't give it to them twice. The first thing I did was create a calendar for Phoenix and Falcon and Phoenix's pink falcon is orange. And the first of every month, and the 15th of every month, um, I have a reminder on my calendar. Then, the way Mike and I keep track of who's gotten what already is, I have a little sheet um, above Falcon's crate in the dog corner um, that has every month of the year. And I put a sticker in the month if I've already given them that pill for the month. So March 1st is past, so if you look in the March square, Phoenix and Falcon have already gotten their March heartworm, and March 15th has also passed, so if you look in the March square, Phoenix and Falcon have already gotten their flea and tick meds. For Phoenix's daily pill, we have a little routine with her that we always do. So she takes a pill one in the morning and one in the evening, so we'll take her out in the morning, and when we bring her back in the house, we leave her collar on her. We can take Falcons off because she doesn't need a pill. We leave her collar on her, and that's an indicator that she hasn't had her pill yet. Maybe we'll be doing stuff around the house, and then we'll go into the dog corner, give Phoenix her pill, and then after we give her her pill, that's when we take her collar off. If Mike takes the dogs out, and he comes in and starts doing something in the house and I see that Phoenix still has her collar on, I know that she still needs her pill, so I'll go and give her her pill. The easiest way for me, I found, is if I get behind the dog, hold the pill in one hand, hold the treat in the other hand, and then tilt their heads back. Then I'll put the pill towards the back of their throat and the, the treat towards the front of their mouth so that they chew on the treat, but they have to swallow the pill anyway. And then I just take my one of my hands and like pet along their throats to encourage them to swallow. It's been working out great for Phoenix. We don't use pill pockets because she can actually 
put that in her mouth and separate the pill from the pill pocket. She'll eat the pill pocket and then the pill will be out on the ground. So it hasn't really worked out for us and I had to find another way to get her to take her medication without her spitting it out. Sahara, who's staying with us today, um, also had to take medication this week and that same technique that I use on Phoenix has worked out great for Sahara, who has a bigger mouth and sharper teeth but is also very, very sweet. And that's how I give my dog this medicine. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys have your own way of giving your dogs medicine, if they like taking it, if they hate taking it. Also let me know if you guys have three dogs and it's the circus at your house, or if it's not a circus at your house, like how do you handle it? Let me know. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you wanna see my last video, you can go here. And if you wanna see more dog stuff, you can click down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real, see you guys next time, bye.